What's up, you guys? Welcome to my first ever bartending tutorial. Now, I know with my YouTube, I'm gonna do a bunch of things, but I'm gonna start with this and see how it goes and let me know if you guys like it or if you're like, nah. Doesn't matter, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna do a scorpion bowl. I am a Scorpio, I've said it a lot. And I'll say it again, um, I'm a cuss, but uh, this is a scorpion bowl, it's great. And it's very strong, there's a lot of alcohol in this. There's a lot of drink in this. This is the bowl that it goes in. I got this used, I got this online, I just kind of found it. And these are expensive, they're not cheap, they're like 20, 30, 40 dollars. They can go up to like 100, 200, blah, blah, blah. But these are really fun, especially if you're having a party. The best part about this is it has this little rig in the middle and you basically put your 151 in there, blow, <laughs> say blow it up, light it up, and just watch the magic happen, really. So let's get to it. All of this stuff is very easy to find, thank goodness. I did have to buy the umbrellas and the hibiscus over at BevMo, but no problem. This was provided to me by a special person who was here at my house, Noelle. We got our gin, you know, our small bottle of gin. Banana, light rum, our 151. Our original dark rum, our Myers rum. OJ, you cannot do a cocktail with bad juices, okay? Whole Foods has this. This is probably one of the better pineapple juices to use. First of all, it's Dole, my maraschino cherries. Then we have uh, our hibiscus. Expensive. Slice these open and we're gonna make them a garnish. This, again, garnish. We actually do need fresh lemon juice today, so I'm going to use this and put it into here. Welcome to my kitchen. Here we got our coffee machine, it doesn't matter. Just cut the orange, I mean, literally, like, you know, right up in here. I mean, everyone can cut an orange, let's be real. I'm probably gonna cut these a little bit thinner, four or five of them. Fun fact, I bartended at Kabo one time and I set up everything myself and I'm about to like start my whole night, right? Like eight to 10 hours of bartending and I literally cut my thumb open and blood went everywhere. So I stayed and my thumb was burning the whole weekend and it was great. So this is how thin your lime should be. Uh, not too bad. Lemon juice, yes. First thing we're gonna do with our drinks is um, well, make sure you have a bartending towel. This is like the best thing ever. Um, I make a mess all the time. My hands get wet. I, you know, I just need it. Next thing we're gonna do is put the ice in it. It needs to be cold, okay? We like our drinks cold and chilly. So this is the ice I have. This is like the small ice. You can get this on Amazon and I'll link it down below and all that jazz. We've all seen these probably. And uh, we wanna put basically the whole thing in there, you know? Just get it all in there. So yeah, this is one of my favorite drinks. Inspired from one of my favorite bars in San Diego. It's closed, I'm sure. It is called Plight Provision. They have a scorpion bowl there. Um, it is one of my favorites. It's just a fun drink. It's a social drink. It takes us to a vacation. So next thing is we're gonna start adding our alcohol. We always add the alcohol first because that is the most important thing that goes in the drink. How Maui Vodka, my friend left this here for me to try. We're gonna do two ounces of this. This is one ounce, this is half ounce. One ounce, half ounce, one ounce. We're gonna go ahead and put two ounces of this lovely in here. I'm kind of slow at this because I haven't been bartending since March. So it's kind of embarrassing, but that's okay. Two ounces. Then we're gonna take our small bottle of gin. Very small. Um, 1.75 liters. We only need two ounces of this, again. Uh, so let's do that. I've had this for a while. I never drink it. Like I literally never drink the alcohol that I have except for today. We're so getting quite full in there. Like, let's see. And the next thing we're gonna add is two ounces of Malibu or some kind of light rum. Now I got banana because I love bananas. Like L-O-V-E bananas, like Gwen Stefani bananas. Love it. And we're gonna do two ounces of this as well. That's a lot. I'm pretty sure I'm getting drunk just looking at this, honestly. It's fine, I'm excited. Okay, 
Next thing we're gonna add is a dark rum. This is your regular Myers Jamaican rum and it works every time. It's very good. And we're gonna just do two ounces of this. Like I said, ooh, starts to get a little colorful in there. Sweet, love that. We are gonna do one ounce of 151. Now you can also do two ounces of the 151 and one of the dark rum, but you know, it's not that kind of night. Like it's Tuesday, relax, okay. Um, we'll see what happens later though. But we're gonna do one ounce of this. I love that gulping sound, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's toxic, very toxic with my last relationship. Um, then, we're gonna, <laughs> then we're gonna add our juices. Now I know I stressed out the importance of the fresh juices that we use. So um, I usually would just like freely pour it, but for the purpose of this video, I do recommend you guys measure it out because this only holds 32 ounces. So make sure there's 32 ounces in here. And now there are alcohols in here. I mean, we're all good now, so. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Now we're gonna do 10 ounces of PJ. PJ meaning pineapple juice, Dole. I like this guy, this is like my favorite kind. I'm gonna start with eight because it's getting a little full up in this. And I haven't even tried this thing yet, so I'm, I'm excited. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna make a 32 ounce drink every day of my life, so just today. Next thing we're gonna do is grab our, well, I don't have a grenadine, okay? I, I forgot and I don't have it. So I'm gonna just use, um, Maraschino cherry juice, it smells so good. I love maraschino cherries, like, yes. Ooh, okay. Making a mess, that's probably not so smart. So I'm assuming I put like, you know, a little bit over an ounce in there. Let's do it again, no problem. We did it, it's fine, it works. Great, nice. See, I already made a mess. So we just grab our towel and clean it. I do not like to work messy, okay? I'm not messy in the craft that I do, whether it's this or whether it's you know, crossing the street. I like to be neat about it. You know, wait for the red light, um, wait for someone to hold my hand, all that jazz. Okay, next, we are gonna drink it. I'm just kidding. No, we're not. We're gonna probably put a little bit more ice in here because it needs it. And actually, I'm realizing I need to add my three ounces of lemon juice. It smells so good. Well, it's almost three. It's fine. It works. We're good with that. See how it's getting full? It's starting to look very voluptuous. I'm going to get some more ice because it does need it. I got these cool, colorful ice blocks in Burbank. I stopped at some kind of pop art type of shop. You know, rinse them off with water and then put them in the freezer. Like, it's all good. And it makes the drink look so cute and cold, obviously, most important thing. So we have our drink, and we're gonna do one of the best things about this drink, which is the garnish. The garnish makes the drink. Like, if you don't have a garnish, it's like, what am I supposed to do with that? Garnish, let's talk about it. I love garnish, I live for garnish. Half of the drink is the garnish. You could cumber in there, put a, I don't know, some kind of seltzer, some kind of lavender, time sprig or something and guess what the drink looks like a million bucks it looks like i'm gonna pay ten dollars for a glass of tap water which i probably would because i love water here's our cute little umbrellas these are so cute i remember being a kid and just like seeing all these umbrella drinks and actually you want to keep the flame out of the umbrella clearly for obvious reasons your whole drink will go on fire and everyone will probably not get to see this video. Yes, and I wanted to add my fruits. Hello. This is the fruit that we cut up earlier and it's literally our limes and our oranges and we're just gonna lay them on top. Like we want it to look expensive. We want it to look like, ooh, like we spent all day on this. You guys have time, just just do it, you know? Like if it takes longer, five minutes longer, everyone's gonna be that much more, oh wow. I like to add a lot of cherries because I love cherries and people will just, you know, get a little drunk ski and be like, oh, I need a cherry, like that looks so good, you know? And um, who doesn't love cherries? I mean, really, please like maraschino cherries, they're very good, very sugary. This drink is very sugary as well. Okay, I put about like five in there, you know, not too many. The next thing we're gonna do is put in our hibiscus. These are not cheap. Oh, 
worth it. These are very pretty. Um, I've worked with these before. I worked with these over at Sugar Factory before. I mean, they're, they're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, stunna. And um, they have a really weird syrup to them that I don't love, but yeah. All right, that's good. We'll just put three in there because that's literally like a dollar, so that's enough. <laughs> Actually, this drink, when you get it at the bars, they cost about 40, 50 bucks because this drink is good for about mm, two to four people. Probably two because, you know, we like to drink. This is like, if you want to, it's cinnamon sticks. And I just like to put, you know, like one or two in there. You've got like trees in there now. So now it looks like a vacation. I feel like I'm ready for this now. And I know you are too. Trust me. I know. I know. Oh yeah. So I dropped some stuff over here. Clean it up. You gotta clean it every time. You know, you don't want messy area. Nobody likes that. The last thing we're gonna do is add our 151 because we're about to light this B. Okay. Take the 151. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. It's not really to mess around, okay? I'm gonna pour a little bit in here, just like a little sippy sip. Nothing too much. Like that. That's fine. Who needs, who needs 151 anyway? Make sure you have like no other alcohol around it and just. Put a little bit. When you light this, do not use a lighter. Do not grab a lighter and, and flick it and think that, oh, it's gonna happen for me. Yeah, it is gonna happen. It's gonna happen all over you. That's what's gonna happen. Be careful. Make sure your hands are clean, okay? Let's rinse them off. I'm telling you, be safe and sorry because the last thing you wanna do is be on fire, you know what I mean? You don't wanna mess with fire. You don't wanna play with fire. Okay, I'm a water sign. I don't wanna play with fire. It's just not fun. I have a couple of things we can use. I have a hemp wick. Don't ask me why I have hemp wick. I do. Um, the next thing we can do that I have that is right here is a wooden stick. I would recommend either or, it doesn't matter. Um, let's just do the hemp wick because it's here. I need to buy more of this actually. Let's uh, let's do this. I'm gonna turn off the light for this too. I know it's super dark in here. It's about to get lit right now. I'm gonna light the wood on fire. Just give it a minute to catch, which it just did. We're gonna just nicely. And there you have it, you guys, and it's on fire. It's looking bomb. Okay, and you really wanna wait until it stops doing that. Just kind of let it burn, you know? Let it burn. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed it. I do love genuinely being behind the bar. It's just exciting. I love doing like 10 things at one time and I love having a small audience to just you know, attend to and be there for them. And they're there to have a good time. You're there to have a good time. In exchange, everyone's just having a good time. Who doesn't want to have a good time? Stop saying having a good time. Thank you for watching. I will have different kinds of videos coming up about drinks, of course, but also traveling and a little bit about my personal life and my background, which is kind of frightening for me, but I, I'm gonna do it. I'm the kind of person also that I genuinely like to practice what I preach. So if I'm giving someone advice about something, I definitely take that very seriously and I would try to take my own advice because how dare am I gonna tell someone something and not do it myself. I have a lot of faith clearly. I do wanna talk about spirituality. I do wanna talk about organizing your life and have a good work-life balance because I know there's a lot of people out there who don't know how to have work-life balance. And other things I wanna talk about would be like, you know, just fun stuff. Like I I really like to bake, okay? I do like to cook. Do I do it all the time? No, but I will. And I'll do it for obviously videos and because it's fun and I enjoy it and I like showing people different sides of me because I'm not just one kind of person. I like to do a lot of different things and that's really who I am. And I really like to push things that I haven't done Anybody can do it, okay? 
that's the truth. Anyone can do it. You can do it. I'm doing it right now. And I enjoy people who really push themselves and try something new. Last but not least, thank you again for watching. This is all about the cocktail. Got my bar towel. <sighs> okay. I haven't even had a drink yet, so we're done.